Hello, brothers and sisters. Michael Humble, Seeker of Truth. For rapture signs abound. Lord's going to be here any minute, any day. We are right in the midst of the season of his return. We don't know, I don't know the day and hour, but I do know that it's any minute, any day. And uh, last video we looked at June 2nd, June 3rd as high watch days and a bunch of things Father's done to mark those out. Uh, in the heavens, there is a planetary parade, um, six or seven planets. And uh, in Taurus, the sun is meeting Venus, the bridegroom and the bride, in the head of Taurus. Taurus represents our father. And we looked at that last video. And uh, Jupiter becomes magnitude 1.84, 184. Meets Mercury, the messenger, near the heart of Taurus. Uranus is also in there. Um, absolutely beautiful. So, <clears throat> Father has led to some more absolutely jaw-dropping information. Uh, so let's get to it. Needs just a little bit of review. And, uh, for some of you it'll be a uh, mega review. Usually the case, Waters of Meribah. So, on 3-2-21, Almighty God told me, tell the world, yet 40 days, judgment will fall on this earth. 40 days later, he had myself and those with me make declaration for Satan and his angels to be cast out of heaven. He put the hook in Leviathan's jaw, threw down the cord, told us exactly when to pull it. And we obeyed. And that happened. And the upper floodgate, if you will, uh, was opened and they were cast out. And judgment is and has been falling on this earth. But the floodgates, the 99 sheep, are still here and must be removed. That restraint must be removed for great tribulation to begin. And it will begin at the removal, which is the rapture. And so... <clears throat> I thought we were going to go right then, 4 9, where I was, 4 10 21, day of declaration. No, I didn't know that there would be a period of time. And so, of course, we've been intently watching ever since. But I went to Father at that time, asked him, What did I miss something? Did I misunderstand? No, son, I got this. These are your waters of Meribah. Don't make the same mistake Moses made. Which was unbelief, by the way. And, uh... The waters of Meribah, Numbers 20, verse 8. The 4,320th verse in the Bible, which is 32 in 40. March 2nd, tell them, yet 40 days. And uh, it's, let's go there. Of course, this ties to new stuff, or I wouldn't be reviewing it. 20 verse 8, take the rod and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes, and it shall give forth his water. This is living water to believers it's satan and his angels to unbelievers and in these end times as judgment falls he's the little r rock and revelation 17 Uh, verse 15, And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the whore sits are peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. Those are those that have sided with Satan. And some of them are from above the firmament. Genesis 1. The waters 
a flood of enemies coming on this earth. That word speak, we've looked at as much as anything probably. It's Strong's number 1696. Oh, is this going to get more beautiful by the end of the video? 4,320th verse in the Bible. Sixteen ninety six is nine divine order times one eighty four. That's the simple English gematria of Jesus the Christ, and my full name as he had me give the forty day warning and make declaration. Plus forty, the forty day warning. Nine times one eighty four is sixteen fifty six. That is the year of the flood of Noah. Remember, Jupiter on 6-2-N-6-3 is magnitude 1.84 and represents the man-child. It's also 600 plus 1096. 600 is Noah was in his 600th year, so we have the year of the flood and his age. And uh, 1096 is the distance between 3221 and 3224 or 41021 and 41024 and uh, it's used a total of 1143 times from day of declaration where I was 1143 days brings us to 52524 and that was the 17th day of the second month as in the days of Noah were but we're still here. So what's up with that? Well, he's going to be here any minute, any day. And uh, that's the day, if not that exact day, and I'm not positive now, but it was about that day that Egypt um, became and declared themselves an adversary to Israel. And so... When you look at Israel, Egypt's a big part of their border. Let's go to Luke 21. Verse 20. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed, surrounded with armies then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. And let's pop over to Jeremiah 25 for a moment. Verse 29. For lo, I begin to bring evil or calamity on the city which is called by my name. And should you be utterly unpunished, you shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth set the Lord of hosts. It begins with Jerusalem. So them being compassed about with armies, knowing the destruction thereof is nigh, is a really big deal here in these end times. Remember, it's just one singled out generation at the end. They didn't have a homeland for almost 2,000 years. So it's not just another time that they're getting attacked. or It's the time. And Egypt's a big part of that border, and I've been watching them for months and thought, well, they're not really surrounded with armies until Egypt, you know, has an issue with them. And as far as I know, they, they don't. Well, on the 25th or thereabout, they declared they do. Now, since then, Israel has killed Egyptian soldier or soldiers. I've heard a report of four. I've heard a report of one. But they have clashed, and Israel has killed Egyptian soldiers. That's a really big deal, prophetically. And we're going to break this verse down, and wow. But to see how it ties, timing-wise, to this, and how Father marked it out, with this.
Okay. So, <clears throat> speak 1143 times total, bringing us to 525 from Day of Declaration. In Luke, the 1100, I got so much on here. Hang with me, you guys, or you get lost on here. 1143rd verse of Luke is Luke 24, 45. Watch how he ties these things together. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Okay. From the great sign of Revelation 12 to June 2nd or June 3rd, depending if you count it from there or inclusively. It's 2,445 days. The 1143rd verse is Luke 2445. And then he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. And it's the 1143rd verse marked by the waters of Meribah. You see that? Number 2445 is a wise man. So sign of Revelation 12, 2445 days to June 2nd or June 3rd. Uh, let's go to Daniel 4. We're going to look at number 2445. 418. This dream I, Nebuchadnezzar, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will and setteth up over it the basest of men simplest uh, King James says that is lowest verse 18 this dream I King Nebuchadnezzar have seen now thou O Belteshazzar declare the interpretation thereof for as much as all the wise men 2445 of my kingdom are not able to make known unto me the interpretation, but thou art able. Belteshazzar is Daniel. 1840 and 1841 in Strongs. So 1840, 184, sealed. I'm 184, no seal. It's used 32 times both the day of declaration and my birthday. <clears throat> but thou art able, for the spirit of the holy God is in thee. <clears throat> Belteshazzar is number 1096. That's the exact length of time from 41021 to 41024. And on, or 3221 to 3224, where he had me give another warning 40 days and then be ready against the third day. That's the day, 413, that it, Iran, Persia attacked Israel for the first time. God stamped it out beautifully. But we're focused on uh, where we're going. So hopefully you see the leading through there. Declare. Declare the interpretation thereof. Declare is used 95 times. That's 3, 2 plus 63. My birthday. 
It's also 95.0, referencing the flood of enemies. 950 is Noah's age, how, how long he lived. All right. From 4921, it's 1143 Waters Meribah days to 525. To 62, it's 1149 days. And uh, number 1149 is a province in Rome. It's Dalmatia or Dalmatia. Used one time. Second Timothy 410. From 41021, day of declaration. 1149 days to 6224. Let's look at the 1149th verse of Luke. It's Luke 24, verse 51. Sorry, I should mark these pages with something. Make it faster. Maybe by video. Well, hopefully there's... <laughs> It'd be great with me if this was the last video. Because our Lord got here. Maranatha. 1149th verse. And it came to pass while he blessed them. He was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Is that a fake figure of us getting carried up into heaven? Maybe. That 1149 days is three years, one month, and 23 days. 1150 depending how you count it. Three years, one month, and 24 days to June 2nd or June 3rd from Day of Declaration. Or we could drop to 4-9. So three years, one month, 23 days. Three years, one month, 24 days. Strong's number 3123 is dove. Jonah means dove. 3124 is Jonah. No sign will be given but the sign of Jonah. That lighting crew, I'll tell you. All right. I know that was a lot of stuff. Let's break this verse down, Luke 21. If that didn't get you excited at all, I think this will. And when you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. I'll say again, that happens at the rapture or immediately thereafter. The restraint is removed. The 99 sheep are saved from the wrath to come. And it is coming. And when is number 3752? It's 75 in 32. That was the last day of warning, 3224. Israel was 75. You shall see. Number 3078. It's full circle in 378, which is 3 times 2 times 63. My birthday. It's also spirit in the Old Testament used 378 times. It is through that spirit of Christ in us that we see. C is used 51 Michael times. 
But you will know the interpretation. So, okay. I got to remind you, are there not 12 hours in the day? That references the equilux. Our Lord said that, John 9, 11, right before he raised Lazarus from the dead. Figure of the rapture. And from 927, 23, the fall equilux, when there was 12 hours in the day. Yes, equilux, not equinox. And so from that day where there's 12 hours in the day to 6, 2, I'm sorry, to 525, it's 241 days which is 5,784 hours marking the Hebrew year. 5,784. And we saw God pattern a bunch of stuff to that 525. We were watching for the Lord that day, as in the days of Noah were. 12 hours in the day, all this stuff pointing to it. 241, references day of declaration. 24th day of the first month, Father's calendar. According to Daniel 10.4. If you haven't been following along, some of this stuff is going to sound like uh, Greek. Just glean what you can glean. Because the next part's pretty straightforward. When, so, this, you shall see, marks exactly who, exactly, via the Spirit, who else will see? And it's used in 241 verses, marking that day, 525-24. Well, we're past that. So now what? When you see Jerusalem, number 2419. Now, if he patterns things numerically through his ordering, if he does do that, and he's proven it hundreds of times, if he does, I'll tell you what, if there's a word in here regarding the end times that he's going to use, it, it might be Jerusalem. When you see Jerusalem, the city called by his name, compassed, surrounded by armies which Egypt became a part of 525-24 well that's day 241 and then we have divine order what if what if it's plus 9 days that would bring us to 6-2 Six three, depending how you count it. That's kind of a stretch, Michael. Uh, Two forty one plus nine. Yeah, it is. So if Father were to make that kind of communication, he would have to make it over and over and over so that we got it. You know, in Revelation eleven, three different ways he says the period of time. 42 months, 1260 days, and three and a half days, prophetically a day equaling a year. Then in the next chapter, Revelation 12, he adds in the 1260 again, and then a time, times, and half a time. So four ways so that we know it's an exact period of time. Same principle uh, same principle applied here. If that's what he's saying with that, and I don't know, we'll know when we know, but he would need to do it over and over in the mouth of two or three witnesses. So 241 and 9, bringing us to 6263. 
when you see Jerusalem compassed with is number 5259 well 241 day 241 is 525 oh 525 and 9 oh well there's two witnesses not as big a stretch now when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies no is number 1097 from 1096 and that's the length of time between the four tens 21 and 24 counted inclusively use 223 moed times um moed is number divine appointment seasons is number 223 When you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, know that. That is number 70, 3754, sorry. And it's used in 1189 verses. Well, that happens to be the number of chapters in the Word of God, the KJV Bible. And from the day of warning, 3221. 1189 days brings us to oh could it be 6263 yeah yeah of course come on he says keep watching let me show you the next thing now remember it's when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies know the destruction thereof is near it doesn't mean it has to be that day. Certainly could be. Near could be five minutes. I don't think near in this case is five months. Not when you pattern something so specifically. Oh, and he's not done. Oh, in 1189 days is uh, 169 weeks and 6 days. That's 1696. That's speak number 1696 unto the rock. When you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, know that the destruction I'm sorry the desolation thereof is nigh desolation is number 2050 which happens to be full circle in 250 which is 241 plus 9 boom the fourth witness to the same day, 6263, from the fall equilux. Plus 250 days, 6263, depending how you count it. 241 plus 9. Let's look at it another way he's marked it. Great American Eclipse. See, he makes counting points. The Great Sign of Revelation 12. The Great American Eclipse. Day of Declaration. Day of Warning. Almost no one gets those days. Three two twenty one, day of warning. Plus eleven hundred thirty eight days. Message at the end of the Bible from our Lord: I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify of these things in the churches. 
I am the root 4491 or 49 and 41.0, 49410, and offspring of David. David's number 1138 from 3 to 21, 1138 days brings us to the, the day that Persia, is, Iran, attacked Israel. 41324. Four, by the way, is Jesus Christ. 1324 is the Greek gematria of my full name. I don't know that it matters, but it is. It's also four. I just saw this. It's 41 and 324. That is going to be more interesting in a second. So from that day... When they attacked Israel to 6 2, it's 50 days or 51 days, depending how you count it, to 6 3, it's 51 or 52. We're going to focus on 50 and 51. 50 days happens to be 4,320,000 seconds. That's 432. Nautical twilight on 6-2 and 6-3 is at 432. We could say 0. 0.0. 432, 4320, waters of Meribah, which is <clears throat> 72,000 minutes. No sign but the sign of Jonah. Three days and three nights is how many hours? 72. Uh, 12,000 hours. 12, or t sorry, 1,200 hours. 12 times 100. Are there not 12 hours in the day? 51 days. 51 is Michael. One month and 21 days. 121 simple gematria for the archangels. <laughs> uh, it's 1224 hours. Number 1224 is crossover or pass through. It's also Basra which represents the sheepfold. Interestingly, on 6224, the moon's diameter is 32.40. Moon set, 324. Nautical twilight, 432. On 6-3, moon set is at 4.32, nautical twilight, 4.32. Number 32.40 is to cast down or to depart. Lastly, I mentioned the Great American Eclipse. We might as well consider that. 82117 to 6224. 2478 days. That's 247 and 8, which is New Beginning. Interestingly, I believe the United States is 247 years old. And we are talking about the Great American Eclipse. Um, 
Number 2478 is strong. As in Revelation 18, verse 8, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire for strong 2478 is the Lord God who judges her. That is the 304th verse of Revelation. That represents man-child, 296, time in the womb, just like Jupiter was in Virgo's womb, 296 days, plus the eight days to naming and circumcision. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. It's also a city in Judah called Hell Hull. Hell Hull. Hell Hull. H A L H U L. Hebrew Gematria 257. Time, as in at that time. It's used 257 times. Simple English Gematria 6 2. And at that time, is that what it means? I don't know. But uh, we'll know pretty soon. Uh, 2,478 days is also 354 weeks exactly. 354? Hebrew Gematria for Michael the Archangel. Or the Archangel Michael. He does stand up at that time. Glory to God in the highest at 3708. Do you see? Glory to his son, Jesus the Christ. Blessings to you. I love you guys. Keep looking up. See you soon.